Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to the videos? Another paid request, this time for John the Lindsay. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, commenters, reviews, re reviews, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for an episode of Batman the Anime series Lockup. Nothing to do with the Sylvester Stallone movie. And I would say this episode, I didn't mind for what it was because I liked the initial setup. Which is Babin and Robin are arresting and taking Scarecrow into Arkham Asylum. But he's scared to death. Because he's scared to death of the chief of security there called Bolton. And apparently a lot of the criminals are scared of him. Harley Quinn's scared of him. Ventrola Chris is scared of him. A lot of people are scared of him. Does he threaten us? He takes away our privileges. He'll put us in jail cells. And if we try to touch him or touch the, the door, it'll shock us. And so at one point, the chief of security is at a board meeting as just, to, just to see if there's anything we need to do to rectify the situation or anything in terms of punishment. Ultimately, the criminals do admit what's going on and Bolton freaks out, is ready to pummel them. And I'm like, good. Part of me is like, that's kind of the initial setup of, I deal with Chief of Security Bolton, I get his point of view. I mean, these people are pieces of scum, pieces of crap. Good. <laughs> let let the guy steer them, because these guys have either killed or murdered or steered or violated or threatened a lot of other people. They deserve a piece of their own medicine. I kind of wish it dealt a bit more into that. That duality of how some people feel what Bolton is doing is the right thing. And maybe this dilemma of Batman where I get where he's coming from but he's doing it the wrong way. I wish they delved a bit more into that. I think that would have made it even more interesting story. But they kind of stamp on that a bit. Instead, he mentions something about the permissive liberal media and how you know, they made me into a bad guy after they fire me and... What the, these criminals, they're the victims. So after months and months of planning, he decides to take his vengeance where he kidnaps the, a media re reporter lady, kidnaps Commissioner Gorin, kidnaps the, the mayor. Uh, even says the Batman, like, come on, Batman, you should understand what I'm doing. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. But Batman and Robin try to stop him. I say I wish they dealt with a bit more where maybe a little bit like Law Abiding Citizen before Law Abiding Citizen. I think that would have, like, obviously that movie had not come out by the time this episode came out. But if it was more into that frame of mind, it was more into that type of story, like I said, I think that would have been very interesting. But I don't mind the look of Lock Up, the look of the, the character who is pretty good at his job. I mean, for the most part in this episode, Batman gets his ass kicked a lot. Almost every fight he's with Bolton, with Lockup, he gets his ass kicked. And the guy is pretty smart. I mean, Batman tries to get him because he's taking the mayor, but realizes that the guy's put a damn boot on the Batmobile. I never know the Batmobile could be stopped by a boot on the car, but apparently it can. Until ultimately they find out that Lockup has put these people in this prison, which is on this battleship, which I like that location. I think that could have been utilized a bit more, though, that location, because as soon as they get there, pretty quickly Batman gets to the bad guy. I mean, there's a board he gets shot at for about 10 seconds, and then he tries to stop Robin... But then Batman, like I said, gets the controls very easily, gets to lock up very easily. Which then, while he does like a jump kit to Bolton, for the most part, <laughs> Bolton kits his ass. One piece of sound design I did enjoy was as the ship is crashing to the rocks and the two are fighting near this propeller. The music cuts out and you just hear the humming of the fan 
as he's trying to push Batman's face closer and closer to the fan. I like that idea of letting the music fall out and just having the sound of this fan to really sell that you know, the danger of this thing that's getting closer and closer to Batman's face. Um, I did like that bit. But man, it's just Batman gets his ass tit and ass tit some more and they both fall into the water. And Batman's like handcuffed and got his ass beaten. They're in the water then all of a sudden this hook shot out and Batman rises out with lockup. And I'm like, well, how did Batman beat him up? How did Batman knock him out? How? I mean, you could guess how he got out of the handcuffs. He's done that before. But it just didn't feel as satisfying because it would have been nice to see him get out of the handcuffs, fight the guy underwater, and showcase how the guy's more hot-headed and Batman's more in control. And that's how Batman's able to turn the tide, maybe punch him a few times underwater. I mean, they tried to do the suspense, but you know Batman's not going to die, so it doesn't... I don't really feel much of any suspense, because then you know Batman's not going to die. So, I just would prefer more of an action satisfaction of Batman finally, you, with the, his smarts, with his cunning, with his experience of control, able to overcome and beat up, lock up, and then get out of the water. So again, I like the initial setup. I don't mind the look of lockup. Um, I'm going to try to have a picture of that over here, if I can remember. Uh, the voice actor didn't do too bad of a job. I don't recognize the voice actor, but I thought he fit. This guy was kind of at his wit's end. He fit fine with it. Um, I don't think you needed Robin in this episode. Granted, this is when it was Adventures of Batman and Robin, so that's why. I get that. Like I said, I've always preferred Batman Solo as I drop my soda. See, that's where Robin does. Robin gives me the seizures and I'm ready to drop my damn soda on the damn ground. So, Robin! But, I always prefer Batman Solo. But, I mean, it's not like this Robin's annoying or anything. He's not like the kid Robin. Which he was annoying, but this is more the growing up Robin. So he's. He, I don't have a lot of big issues with him. Again, I'm just saying what my preference is. But like I said, I wish they played more into maybe the trial thinking that, well, Locked Up has a point and he's doing the right thing and some people are actually cheering him on and the tide is turning or the tide is split 50 50. I think they could have got some mileage out of the story. Maybe they felt we only have 20 some minutes. We don't have the time to do that. Like I said in the finale. I wish there was a bit more trouble of Batman getting to the controls. Getting to lock up. Because again the character seemed like a pretty smart guy. That he was able to gas the whole house. And take the mayor right under Batman and Robin's noses. And then have the foresight to put a boot on Bat the Batmobile. So I thought there'd be a lot more tricks to the trade, a lot more ins and outs of this battleship prison. But apparently not. Just said Batman gets them very quickly, I think too quickly. Like I said, Batman gets his ass kicked a lot. I wish he was able to kick lockups up. At least the final comeuppance. So yeah, I do have issues here and there. Uh, I didn't mind it. I didn't love it, but I didn't mind it for what it was. It was okay. Kind of in the middle of uh, episode wise. Don't have a lot of issues animation. The voice where Tim Conroy is greatly missed. May you rest in peace. Did a wonderful job voicing the Batman character. And of course, and Bruce Wayne as well. Other voices. They didn't bother me at all. And with that said. Like the Chief of Security Bolton, I didn't mind the voice, but the idea if you could work more of like a fuller story, it would have been cool to hear someone like Lance Henriksen or such in that voice. That would have been a nice choice. Or even Brad Dourif. But either way, decent episode. Okay. It's an okay episode. 